Good morning, everybody. Tutorial Police, I'm on my lunch break. Uh, today, we're going to do a little diagnosis on the Ram, and I can say the customer states, oh, yeah, I am the customer, that one of the windshield squirters ain't squirting. It's this one. It's the passenger side squirter ain't squirting. The squirtation device is not squirting. Now I discovered this whilst I was driving in the rain in the rain the other day and I needed some squirting done. Let's see. All right, so this simply push it down. Okay. All right. Driver side squirting. Passenger side, no squirt. All right. Confirmed. I don't know why, but one of the things I like doing with this truck whenever there's an issue, I usually overdo the repair. And I, I don't mind doing that. I usually try to rebuild whatever system. If it's if it's not a huge job, I like to rebuild whatever system it is. And this is a simple system, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, perhaps replace a few parts along the way, even if they don't need it, as part of the ongoing maintenance process of a 30-year-old truck. 30 years? Is it 30? Let's see, 85, 95, 2005, 2015. 40-year-old truck, sorry as part of the ongoing maintenance process. Let me see if I can lift this hood with one hand. This, this thing, I can't, I can't do it. Can't lift the hood with one hand. Anyway, I want to put the phone down and, uh, and uh, we'll get started with the diagnostics first. Okie doke. Let me get a little pointer. And I'm going to show you the passenger side squirtation device, or AKA squirter. All right. If you can see it, but there is, I can't really see through the, I can't really see it. Uh, through the uh, viewfinder, but I can see it myself, but I'm pointing to the squirter right now and I don't see any liquid or, or fluid um, Down inside the grill here to indicate that it's Missing its target and spraying back into the truck. So it looks like Nope, there's no liquid down there. So it looks like while fluid is getting to the driver's side squirter, it's not getting Maybe there is liquid down there. Hold on. Hmm. 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 You know that squirter has a uh, that squirter has a crack in it. There is fluid down there. It's actually squirting. Yes. It's got a crack. It's got a crack in it right there. And the fluid is squirting out in this direction to the left. I'm going to put the camera right here. I hope this doesn't ruin my camera. And I'm going to squirt. Let's we'll see if we can pick that up. Okay, let's see if I can pick that up. I don't know. Oh, there's liquid on my camera lens. Yep, I'm sure you were able to see something. I got liquid on my camera lens, so it's squirting out to the left. And so we got, I'm gonna need to buy a new squirter. So let's go ahead and disassemble that one. Maybe I can fix it. I wonder if I can fix it. Let's find out. 
Okay. Well, here's the reservoir. And it's got, here's the line right here, and here's the line that, uh, the hose that runs up to the, pass the passenger side squirter right here, and there's where it goes through the firewall. So we just need to, appears that we need to remove that Phillips head screw. Okay, there it is. And I hope I'm focusing okay here. And there's the crack. There's the crack right there. And it's almost all the way through to the other side. And at this point, there's a lot of corrosion on this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can order two of them, one for each side. And maybe even try to replace the hoses as well. Because the hoses are getting old. They're feeling very dry. Um, that would be nice to find these hoses if I can. There's, um, it's never ceases to amaze me. I'm still getting, I'm still getting a lot of auto parts folks telling me there's a supply chain issues, and so I'm still kind of amazed there's still supply chain issues, or at least that's still an excuse that I'm getting, especially with regard to hoses and such. So, but I'm going to try to find these hoses and uh, and replace them. And I'm also going to pull this reservoir here. This is the, there's a reservoir. And I'm going to, uh, and check out the pump and give, and give this reservoir a good clean. Um, I believe I did this on my other Ram. It's, it's pretty easy to do. But again, I like to, uh, if I'm in here and taking the time to do this, I want to get the whole system, the whole system, uh, restored and fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other, the other squirter, and I, I know these things are available um, online, uh, but I wanna see if my local parts store has them. They can get them quicker. Um, I remember seeing these things once for like 30 bucks a pair, which I thought was kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna save that. I mean, I could fix it, but again, I'd rather get new ones. So I'll just go ahead and pull this thing off and I'll show you. Um, I'll show you everything but and I'm gonna leave the hoses in place I'm gonna have to take some measurements on those and find out the diameters um, but okay let's go ahead and get this reservoir off see what we got what we're in for there as far as the pump I think the pump is on the bottom if I recall um, and the pumps in good shape but heck if I can get a new one I'd rather get a new one I save all my old parts too if they're still working because you never know, you might get a brand new part made in China and it lasts a week, and you revert back to the old part that's been sitting in here, you know, made in America, it's been sitting here working for 40 years. You never know, it's a, it's a mixed bag. Okay. Okay, I've drained the reservoir. Took, uh, it's just two body screws. and to remove it and here's the bottom side i'm glad i'm doing this it is leaking a little bit from the gasket down below you can see the blue uh, solution coming out there's the pump there's the pump right there um so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the electrical connection and remove the hose to it or from it i should say the hose from the pump to the squirters and then i'm going to remove the entire pump itself and get this whole reservoir cleaned up I'm gonna see if a new pump is available uh, just because I'm in here uh, while I'm at the parts store eh. heck the whole thing might come as an assembly I don't know either way I'm gonna renew the whole system renew and refresh the whole system if possible but let's uh, that pump is screwed in from the inside um, let me see if I can get a, there we go, sorry. Gonna get some kind of a um, extension and a socket down there. I'll tell you what size it is, what I figure it out. It looks like um, some kind of a, something bigger than a half an inch. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Three quarters, not sure. Here are the tools I've used so far. I had to use uh, this angled screwdriver to unscrew the squirter from that side because the, uh, 
Oh, what do you call it? Oh, I'm losing my... The brake booster was in the way. Okay, back in spell. Here's the bottom of the reservoir. It's got a grommet. Got a grommet there, and then here's the pump. And it's uh, inserted like that, and then through the reservoir, uh, this comes down and screws on, and there's a little screen. This is the only filter it has to filter out buggage at all. And uh, the bottom of the pump has the electrical connection and the nipple there for the hose. And um, it is a 7 eighths. Yep, it's a 7 eighths. All right. There we go. So now I'm off to the parts store. Oh, here's the good. So I have two squirters. They're and, and I know for a fact, well, I don't know anything for a fact. Hell, I don't know my own name for a fact. But I know for almost certain that these, this style of squirter was used in like 20, 25 years or more of Ram vehicles from vans to the W-150s to the W-250s to the D-150s and the D-250s and the Ram Chargers and I mentioned the vans and who knows what else but they use this same system in so so many vehicles and that's what made uh, those these old school trucks especially Ram so so neat so cool not only the simplicity of it but the fact the interchangeability of the parts that went on for so many years in this generation model nowadays nowadays it seems like you know new generation models are going to happen every five years it seems with with lots of major changes and but just the utter simplicity of it so here's the one without the crack and then there's the one with the crack i could probably fix it but i don't want to hell i could probably solder it but hell the solder would probably seep in there and clog it more all right off to the parts store if i can't find it i like to shop locally you know honestly i really do like to shop locally and get things locally it just helps the local economy and, and i like to get out and talk to people and and um and it just it, again i like to keep things local even if i spend a little more um uh, but uh, if i can't find it locally i will uh I'll, I'll get it i'm sure i can get it online all right but all right i'll pick up when i get the parts okay it's a couple days after i made the previous video um because I have ordered brand new uh, squirters or nozzles. They are on order with uh, a new set of hoses. So I've got all new parts all the way back to the pump. And here is a new pump sitting next to the old pump. It is uh, made by um, who, who is this ACI and it is a good fit I've already checked it out it is a perfect fit haven't tested it yet I'm about to it comes with a new grommet and I'm guessing that's a new lid I'm guessing that's nice so it's a good kit here it's a good really good kit I'm gonna go ahead and get the new grommet uh, here's where the there's the lid and then the, the grommet will go down here I've completely cleaned the reservoir. So I'm going to go ahead and get that grommet on there and get the motor, uh, the pump installed. And get it filled up and uh, we'll go ahead and give it a test. We can give it a test to see if it actually pumps and squirts out the hoses. Oh. Um, here's the screen filter it did not come with a new screen but this will screw on the new pump right there um, and that's actually what holds it into the reservoir that'll screw it up from the inside of the reservoir so let's go ahead and get started with that alrighty my eBay order just came in and I've got let me show you what I've got for the the nozzles or the squirters they cause they call them squirters <laughs> so here's the kit and um, so here's the end of the hose that goes to the reservoir, it snakes around, 
and there's one tap for the um, passenger side comes with a hopefully a stainless steel screw and then there's one squirter for the driver side comes with a stainless steel screw and it came with these uh, these um, these ties I'm not sure I'm gonna need them all right I have yet to uh, this is just sitting here I tested it the other day it's probably still some Nope, no water in there. Right, here's the new motor. A new motor. The new pump. It's really kind of cool to see. I don't know if you can see that because I have a glare in my uh, in my viewfinder, but it's made in the USA. Hope you can see that. But I, when I saw that, it's so rare to see auto parts and little parts and motors and things to say made in the USA. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but what I did is I put the new grommet on and I put a little bit of uh, silicone around the bottom of it um, just for safety not safety but to prevent any leaks not that it needed it but I always like to go that extra mile and that silicone would easily come off if I ever needed to replace it to replace the uh, the motor or the pump again um, so we're gonna set this aside and go ahead and remove the old hoses there's one sticking out right there and we're gonna remove the old hose the old hose assembly there's the the one that's hooks up to the reservoir and get that removed and start fishing the new one back I don't know that uh, this is interesting enough to to even watch so I'm just gonna put the camera down and do it and show you what it looks like um, before I I'm just gonna lay these down and I'll show you what these look like when they get screwed in and presumably when they get screwed in this will be aligned enough to where they squirt the windshield through the louvers remember this has to squirt up and be aligned to squirt through the louvers and if not you just stick something down there and wobble the squirter back and forth to align it I, I, I guess that's how it's done so let me go ahead and get that done and I'll, I'll be back shortly of course to you it's instant all right I got them adjusted yeah I had a helper in there uh, as you can see the windows kind of wet had a helper uh, um, squirt the windshields while I adjust them. Basically, it's a you take a flathead screwdriver and you get in there and you start bending the thing left and right and up and down until you get two streams. There's an upper stream for the upper window and a lower stream for the lower part of the window. That's why if you see on the nozzle, there are two holes. One's for the lower ones for the upper and uh, now they seem to be working pretty good they might settle in you know a little bit of elastic deformation they might kind of pop pop out and change their then I'll readjust them again but let me give you a you see better than they've ever worked better than they've ever worked I filled the reservoir with plain water, so it's good that I get rid of the water anyway. Water's got to go. I need to fill it with a, a windshield, windshield washer antifreeze. Yeah, it's empty. I just drained the reservoir. Okay, cool. Better than they've ever worked. <coughs> That's why when, a, when um, And I've already looked under the hood for leaks and the system is not leaking. That's why when something little on an antique truck goes wrong, I like to rebuild the whole system. Because I, like, I enjoy doing it, but might as well do the whole thing, not just the one little thing. Unless it's a major project, a major project, but okay. There you go. I hope this helps somebody who has a Ram. And... Um, one more project down the tubes. By the way, the windshield washer, uh, the windshield washer nozzles or squirters, I got it from eBay from a eBay user. Oh, I'm not even. I can't even pronounce this guy's name. But anyway, uh, he's, he was the only guy on eBay selling these things. So uh, you can find them on eBay. I couldn't find them uh, anywhere else on the web. So that's pretty cool that I even found the nozzles. Someone's still making them. That's cool. All right, guys. Ciao. Hope you enjoyed it. Stereo Police.
out. Let's do a test while we're on the road of my window squirters. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're working good. All right. I just replaced those, Dan. 